Good morning everyone. How are you going? I'm gonna start this day by quoting my darling mother. Oh my daughter is turning to a hippie. Great. Thanks mum. But I've always been a hippie. Now I say this because this month is plastic free July and I'm gonna do everything in my power to accept that challenge and follow through and also I want to implement these new lifestyle choices for the future because I think it's a really good thing to start to change your process and then cut down on all the plastic. During my quarantine, I started to change my lifestyle. So I started to work out more. I started to go on walks, which is really the catalyst of the whole thing. And I started to change my diet. Now I've always considered myself environmental, which is the beauty about growing in Australia because we had things that were environmental instilled into us from a young age. So I remember there was Clean Up Australia Day and you would go to the park and pick up rubbish and there was lots of things like um, we had bins that had different litter for each one so you know you had plastic, your paper and your veggies and things like that. Remember the phrase don't be a litter bug which was quite funny and then when I was a teenager they started implementing canvas bags which I actually brought all the way from Australia to the UK and I still use them every day. Thank you Coles for that, they're fantastic. But I do love my canvas bags. I have them in my handbag at all time. I'll have one or two. I've always refused bags from shops and they're just fabulous because you can get canvas bags with so many fun colors and beautiful patterns. So it's always like a little statement or a handbag. So it's kind of a fun accessory that helps out a lot. <laughs> Again, in Australia, when I was a teenager, things started kicking up to be more environmental. So we had little things like water timers for the shower. So you were meant to have it under a certain amount of time. And then we started getting solar paneling in the roof and then water tanks in the garden. So it was becoming more and more we have to do the best. And there's still a long way to go, but Australia has really done a lot and I've learned so much from that. So over the years, I feel like I have been doing quite a few things in regarding to being more environmental. I have my canvas bags. I have my bottles that I reuse. I never buy plastic bottles. I have my coffee cup that I use that I get my disposable coffees in it. I take containers for lunches at work. I don't take the polystyrene and things. I try and get sandwiches that are paper and not plastic. But I realized that this wasn't enough. There is so much more I could do. And I had been trying to implement it more and more, especially as I started to change my dietary becoming more plastic based that I wouldn't go to the local supermarket I would go to a veggie supermarket and I would buy all the veggies there and then I already had these in the house which are my fantastic little mesh vegetable bags so I have a whole array of sizes and they're really good so I just go there pop all my fruit and veggie there pop it on I'm very content with these and I'm cutting down on so much plastic because going to the supermarket everything is sold in bulk and it is sold in big plastic. Like the tomatoes, the tomatoes really upset me, is that it's in a plastic crate plus a plastic covering. And I was like, oh, why? And there's always so much because I'm a single person household. So I have food that goes off and I just got so fed up and it just had to stop. The next thing I want to implement is my meats because I do eat meat but I am cutting down because it comes in plastic containers. So I saw a really interesting article that talked about taking one of your own plastic containers at home, taking it to a local butcher. So those are some of the things I've implemented into my life already. And then on one of my long walks around the park in the evening, I was listening to a podcast called The Health Code and they interviewed um, the old CEO, Tim, from Take Three From The Sea. Now Take Three From The Sea, is such an interesting organization. It's Australian based, but they are all over the world. So they implemented this rule that you take three pieces of rubbish from the beach, from the park, from the bush, from the forest. And listening to this podcast, I started hearing more and more things about ways that we're not being environmentally friendly. And then I looked around me and I realized how much rubbish was in this park. It was really depressing to see this. I think in my local park there's two bins. So that was really disheartening. And so now once a week I go to the park and I take a plastic bag and I fill it up. Especially on the weekend because I went for my walk the other day and um, I actually put a picture here from my Instagram and I was so devastated because there was about 20 plastic bottles left on the grass. I don't understand why it was so hard for them not to take their plastic bags home or put it in the bin which was about 10 meters away. So I've started noticing that a lot and it's just, it's very disheartening 
So that's my little thing that once a week I will do my bit and just fill up a plastic bag. So listening to this podcast, I also discovered little aspects of our lives that are so plastic orientated. Rubbish bins, glad wrap or cling fill. If you do drink from a plastic cup from the coffee shop, you can swallow little bits of plastic. So the CEO said that the average person digests one credit card of plastic a week. So needless to say, I looked down on the plastic bottle I was holding my hand, which is a <laughs> present from work and it's plastic. And I was like, I can't drink from this. <laughs> Cause when you think about it, there is plastic everywhere. Like your phone case is plastic. Your washing detergent for your dishes is plastic. And like even the pen I was writing with to make this script for you guys is plastic. Quite shocking. So after I listened to this podcast, I started doing my research and I found so many interesting articles. I found really interesting companies that are all eco-friendly and biodegradable, so I will link everything below. I have discovered lots of amazing Australian brands. I've discovered lots of UK brands. I wanna make a statement that when you're changing your life to be more plastic free, um, don't throw out things that you already have. Yes, they're plastic. I get it, I get it. But use them until they are finished. So I have plastic containers that I use to store my food. So I've cut out my cling film altogether. So I use plastic containers instead now to keep it fresh, which is great. So I will be switching to glass. I am gonna be purchasing some glass um, containers and jars so I can also put all my grains and flour and things like that into glass jars so I can try and cut down on all the plastic because I've been discovering some bulk free shops which are in um, Chiswick, which I will be heading to in this vlog. So, as I was saying, yeah, it's okay to have them. Don't throw them out, use them until they are in pieces. Because an interesting fact is that that plastic container you're using is gonna be here long after you're dead. So don't just throw it away because it's not aesthetic to your life. Like for example, I have my Brita. Now, I love my Brita. It's fantastic, especially for London because the water is not great. Oh, well, let's not lie. But researching into Brita, I discovered how bad these capsules are and they are not recognizably recyclable, which is not great. Um, I found out you can recycle these. So you go to the Brita's website and they show how they recycle these and they have a list of places that you can see where to recycle. So for me, my local is Argos. So I'll be taking, when I've got a couple of these, I will take them over and then I will replace this Brita one day, better water filter jug that you can actually put your own bits in it to filter the water. So I will be using the Brita bottles until they are falling apart because, and then recycling the capsules. And then another thing is my Nespresso. Well, the thing is I love my Nespresso and I understand the controversial aspects to it, but you can recycle Nespresso. So they take out all the coffee that goes into compost places and the capsules get recycled into different products so they can reuse them. And then also um, Nespresso, when you go to the Nespresso shop and also you can get it if you order them online, but I like to go to the Nespresso shop because I go, ooh, 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 because I actually like the taste of Nespresso. So they do recycle and you fill it up and you take it into the recycling bin and Nespresso, which is great. I will be investing, I think, into one of the reusable Nespresso pods, but I actually need to find a coffee that I like. <laughs> so another thing in my life that I was using that was plastic, and I was like, oh my God, it's the wrong thing, the Body Shop. I love my Body Shop products. They are so good for my skin. They've got lots of natural products in them, and they really, really help me. And I was like, oh my God, how do I recycle these? So again, you can go to the website of the Body Shop and you discover that you can take the bottles into the shop itself and they go back there and get cleaned and you can be recycled. So I'm just getting a nice little stock to be able to go back to the shops. Another thing about me, I love my tea. I'm so thankful for tea too, being in this country now. <sighs> I love my tea. I should put in a montage of how much tea I have in that corner. But I buy my tea loose leaf. And what's really good about um, tea too is they started using biodegradable plastic in their cardboard boxes so they can all go into the recycling. So I have loose leaf and I yes, I'm just throwing tea all over the floor, but I don't use bags. So these strainers cut down on um, bags and 
it's just easy to clean out and I, I you can get cute little ones so this one's a little actually this one's matching my outfit today so I'm very happy with that I will also include a long list below on this website that told me how to live a plastic free life it was very interesting and then when you start doing all your research on these shops you go oh like shampoo detergent things like that I will start looking into a shampoo that is more eco-friendly so I'm not getting the plastic bottles because I saw you can also get soap bars that are shampoo and conditioner. This is a very, very long list of things that I was telling you about. I will link it all below. There's some really interesting things for you to consider like, you know, ice cream cones. Don't get your ice cream in a container, get it in a cone. Ah, bread. You have to buy bread that is from a boulangerie or buying it from a brown bag great idea so I do need to find a really good boulangerie that doesn't have plastic which would be really great and also I'm a bit fancy I need my sourdough bread because I can't eat processed bread because I get sick another little thing here wine the screw tops they're saying it's not great so you should look for ones with um, the cork and also it's nice to be old-fashioned they've got things like buying cheese in bulk using natural cleaning cloths using natural rubber gloves that'd be really interesting to investigate actually okay what else is on my list using reusable cutlery having your own stash i do have my own stash it's at work of course so if i do go out which we won't because we're in lockdown like switching from sandwich bags i love my sandwich bags like my mum ships them from australia for my christmas present using beeswax as a cling fill. Oh, this is an interesting one. I also love that it says here, make your own milk. That'll be another video coming up because I do want to try that. I think that'll be really interesting. Shopping at thrift stores or op shops or charity shops. Let me translate into all the languages that we will be watching this. I kind of think I've had enough with high street fashion and fast fashion. I will only buy things that are necessary and or if I see a local artist or independent artist like this person, like I love this t-shirt. It's a really unusual artist. They have lots of veggie puns. So that's a local artist. Like this is a local artist in Australia. So I'm trying to just cut that down. Also, I am a skilled seamstress <laughs> and do make that as a living. So I can make my own garments and I have been doing that in quarantine because that's another thing. I do have an Etsy account and I was like, oh my God, how am I going to post my Etsy orders without using plastic? And Instagram came to my savior and told me about this biodegradable plastic bag that it'll just start decomposing and then also like you can reuse it for other people. I keep all my plastic bags from postage because then I reuse them for my Etsy, including boxes. I've kept them in case I need them. Oh, another thing on my list is use handkerchiefs instead of paper tissues. That's something I need to train myself to do because I do love my tissues because the handkerchiefs that go, they're, they're just wet. Also, another interesting thing is like, get off mailing lists. So I get part of some of my cards I use to save money to go to art exhibits and galleries and historic palaces they send a magazine a lot of them have changed it to be an eco-friendly so everything is in paper and the packaging is eco-friendly but some of them haven't and I don't read some of these so I think that I need to say I don't want these magazines anymore because it's just paper that I'm just wasting that someone else could be using let's get to what I am going to be purchasing for this month to start changing my lifestyle a friend of mine who is a plastic free living person I said what's your top advice she said do it gradually because then you train yourself to be a habit and I thought that's a really interesting thing that you do it gradually to start training but I've gotten what I call my basic box things so I can start so as I mentioned before I've got these mesh bags now cotton is best you get these little cotton bags put your fruit and veg in it great idea let's get my box of goodies I've got all these goodies to go through with you guys so bin bags I didn't know how I was going to change my lifestyle with bin bags but I discovered in my research that you can buy these biodegradable bin bags. Perfect, that's a really great idea. So I bought a couple of those to try out. I mentioned earlier about my love for sandwich bags. I bought a whole array of silicone lunch bags. What a great idea. And they're meant to last for a long time. Then I bought some reusable baking mats. That's a really good thing to think of. And that's a really interesting thing because that means I'm always using paper. So this way I can cut down and then you just wash these. So it says here that it's got a fiberglass coating on these ones. Um, I'm sure there's other ones, but these are the ones that I found that were the easiest, but 
I've got a whole array. I've got round ones and square ones. So I'm really looking forward to using those. I think that's gonna be a really good asset to have in the household to improve baking needs. Toilet paper, that's a really good point. Um, my mum, when she was a kid, would get toilet paper that was wrapped up in paper and you would have to undo it. Everything is in bulk in the supermarkets in plastic. So I discovered this company that has some green toilet paper. So there's a whole array of different toilet papers. Actually, I had bought this online. I was waiting for it to come. And then I went to my local supermarket and they were selling recycled toilet paper. So the paper was good. And also the plastic packaging was um, biodegradable. So I'm very happy I found that. And now I invested in some beeswax wraps. Look, so I got things that were all bee themed. I'm really excited about using these because this is the one thing that I really saw repeatedly was this. So that should be a good thing to try out because you know, like my avocados and you know, tomatoes and things like that. What else do I have in here? Ah, my amber bottles. I'm very excited about this because cleaning products, another thing you don't think about, they just all come in plastic. They're just big plastic bottles and I find lots of the chemicals really harmful and I really am reluctant to use them. Like I, I've always been that way. So my idea is once I finish using all those products in there, I can replace them with this new stash that I bought. Now this I bought from EcoVibe is the iron and velvet cleaning product. Now I'm very excited by these, all plastic free and it's a really good idea. So it comes a floor cleaner, glass and mirror cleaner, oven cleaner, antibacterial cleaner and and cleaning your surfaces. So you get these little capsules and you pop them inside the jar and you put some warm water and shake, 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 and then that's it. The plastic is biodegradable. It dissolves in the warm water and then you can use these constantly and they last a really long time. So I've invested in some very beautiful amber bottles for these. I'm gonna use my label mercol, which will an embossed label maker of course and I will start using those and it's 10 quid for a pack of these and that's just such a small thing and there's no plastic involved. I'm so down with that, that's such a great idea. These will be a really good one to try out for a beginner like me and then I can look further into it. Ah, now I was running out of cotton buds so I invested in some cotton buds that are bamboo and they're decompostable. Is there a whole array now I said earlier in the video I want to try making my own milk because I already was already cut out a lot of dairy because it was making me feel sick and I was drinking lots and lots of soya or coconut or oak and really those bottles as well aren't great because yes the cartons on the outside but they are lined with a sheet of plastic that's this is I, I'm not presuming things this is what I was told so I'm gonna try to make my own nut milk and I'm gonna get a nice glass jar to do that in. So I invested in a nut bag. So you put all your things in here and you make them up. Um, I'm gonna give that a go. I love my sparkling water as well. I come home after I walk and I wanna have a relaxing drink. So I have sparkling water with a lemon. And I was like, how is that gonna stop? So I started researching and I found out about a soda stream. I love my soda stream. I use it every day. I got a really good beginner set. It came with four different bottles. It came with some syrups to go with it. And it came with the actual soda stream. Such an amazing purchase. So I've invested in some silicone lids. It kind of looks like a jellyfish. They come in multiple sizes. They're meant to go over bowls, plates, all sorts of things. And they will keep your food fresh and they're reusable. I'm gonna get a bit of TMI. So everyone that doesn't like female things, close their ears for about three minutes. Um, everyone thinks I'm weird when I say this, but I'm going to be honest about it. <sighs> Sanitary pads. <laughs> I can't believe I'm putting this on the internet. Okay. I get them from Australia. I buy them in bulk and carry about six kilos of pads back from Australia because they have got cotton in them and the ones in the UK that I've used do not and they aren't very good for me. So I'm like, right, this is ridiculous. I love them, they're great. They have facts on the back of them. Thank you, Libra. Um, <laughs> I might little put a little picture here of some of my facts pads that I've collected over the years. Yes, I do collect them. They are great reading sources for visitors. If you leave the book by the toilet, people can flick through them on the loo. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm mad. 
won't deny that. But I decided to try my hand at a cup. I used it for the first time and it was an interesting, weird experience. But after using it for a couple of days, I really loved it and it was great. There was no issues whatsoever. I thought that was fantastic. And also what I really like about this company, which is Tomb, um, which I think means time of the month, which I kind of love. They supply pads, um, liners and all that sort of stuff. And the liners are all cotton and they also biodegradable. So that's really great. I really love that they're trying to do that for female hygiene because that's a it's a taboo subject and also there is a tax on it so there's a whole thing there this is my basic kit and I know I've thrown a lot of information at you but this is how I'm going to endeavor to improve my lifestyle I hope this video has inspired you to take these aspects of your life and start to make changes I really really suggest listening to all the links in the bios. I've said that so much but I've found some really really interesting websites in my research and for anyone that wants to give this a go that is a great place to start to educate yourself and learn about all these different things that you can do for your mark to improve because if everyone started doing these small things the world would be such a cleaner place. Like I really really believed that after this lockdown and this pandemic people would start to change aspects because the environment was healing and people were reading that in the news but after the parks reopened and I saw the amount of rubbish being left behind nothing's changed and I feel like we need to encourage that change so this is my small little speck on the globe of doing my best to improve the planet because I want my kids to be able to have a healthier lifestyle like, I don't want them swimming on a beach with plastic in between their legs. That's not cool. I don't want to leave this earth thinking how much of a carbon footprint I've done. And I know I'm a travel channel, but once traveling has started up again, I'm going to be researching a lot how to offset my carbon footprint. And I think that'll be a really interesting video to explore further on. That all being said, I hope this has inspired you. I hope this has been knowledgeable. I hope that you are going to try and have initiative to have a plastic free July as well. I think it's a really good place to start. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like because it really supports my channel and subscribe if you want some more content from me because I'm always looking ways to do unusual, unique content that's travel, lifestyle and um, costume of course. So until next time, I hope you have a really fantastic July trying out this new way of life and I will see you on the next vlog.